Hello YouTube, Mistrada here, and we're back with another episode of Firewatch. Uh, I'm recording days two and three back to back, and maybe I'll record day four also. And right after this, we'll, we'll see how I feel from, you know, awake enough to well, want to do it. But anyway, let's get into it and see what happens. Yeah, it's a nice little loading screen here. It's a blank loading screen, but eh, well. Right, hey, Henry. Boards to yeah. Fix the thing. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? Oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest oh, man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Three, all right, there we go. That's the boards we need. Oh, wait, here's another one. Now this can't be that hard. Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um... It's what navy with there? white oh, buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. I know it's not easy. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. Well, I just happen to have a thing for thin mustaches. The thinner and pervier, the better. Well, then you are in luck. And a horrible scar. <laughs> just perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Excuse me? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. <laughs> What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Oh, what's the... Oh, that's the... Uh, too much. Uh, I, I'm not picking up just so for no reason. Which... Uh, d there, there, there is no reason for me to pick any of this up. So. I'm just gonna look up and... Guidebook, toilet paper. 
Is it just me, or does that look like the the, the widest roll of toilet paper ever? Somehow that looks like it's a wide roll. That oh, well, that looks like a tall roll of toilet paper. Well, well I guess not. It, it just I mean, I mean the game makes it look like that. I don't know. I never looked at the ceiling of the thing. Right. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> okay. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not really yeah, that it comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Eh. Take a seat. Day nine? Uh, well, okay. That shortest day ever, so we're gonna keep going. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Uh, yeah. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. <laughs> Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Great. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No! I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Me neither. I just selected that I'm happy to be questioned about it. All right, day 15. All right. So let's go a little further. So the girls are missing. Henry. Probably dead. Henry, wake up. Oh, shit. I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. What? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Mm, yeah, I am. But what is that? Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, this is so baby. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so day 33. <laughs> I thought that was Delilah until the end. What the fuck? Uh, all right, day 33, here we go. Uh, is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, yes. I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? What? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Bitch. Anyway, yeah. when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. Yeah, She's, so like, cool. really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Wait, am I going the right way? So, so, like, 
two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Yeah, I'm I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. Wyoming. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, mm. and <sighs> for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and okay, told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Uh, what? Why? I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Supply drop 60 feet. Again, one, two, three, four, because the dumbest code in the universe that anyone can crack. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Move for two forks and other look at. So we are taking mine. And let's close it. And that's it. And now I have to hike all the way back, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's hike all the way back. Alright, so now we get to hike all the way back. Let's. All the signs we want to... To go this way, I believe. Oh wait, no, we want to go that way. Uh, Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Do that. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? God. Oh, day 64. Okay. Alright, so we did a little bit of stuff so far. Um, our record flow feels like around 10, 15 minutes or so, and then it'll be done. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And yeah. she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, ah. maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. They might. 
so there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Yep. You'd like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Yeah. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yep. Me too. Yep. Good. Yep, yep, yep. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. Uh. What? What could we do? What? You don't well, need more of a, a, a what? Let me tell you. Jesus. Haven't you figured it out yet? You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to look out for bear traps. How do I find these damn bear traps? Hold on. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. 
Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. Oh, it's yeah. north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just, oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, okay I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Alright, we're gonna go to Wapi <laughs> Meadow and, uh... <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, it's towards the end of the game. So, we'll just finish out the game, and that'll be that. And, uh, yeah, but we're only gonna walk beating meta. What the? Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, so now we have to find guys to get through a fence and... So now 
we have to go to... Where the hell is Ruby River? That's all the way down there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's a long ass hike. I'm not gonna. Yeah, that that's gonna wait. So you know what? That's gonna wait until next time. And because I think I'm done for now. I'm pretty tired. I have enough time. To go all the way down there and whatever the hell. So with that being said. Um, I'm gonna call it a night, I'll do some more recording tomorrow, and, uh, finish this out, hopefully post the videos, uh, over the next few days, or over the week, and, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be that, um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you all next time.